Go. Go. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's just gonna be really a quick video because I'm just gonna be showing you how to replace the battery. Now, I've got my E60 in it, a 530i. I'm gonna be changing the battery over and we're gonna be registering it with ISTA. So I can show you guys how I do it on my cars. Obviously, you guys probably ain't aware as many people don't show you how to do it like this. They use our scanners to show you to register the battery, but I'm gonna be showing you how to use it on ISTA. As you'll see right there as well, we have the Bosch battery. As you see, I don't, as I always tell you guys, I don't use any kind of cheap crap on my cars. This is a genuine Bosch battery. This was 140 pound, which is about 100, $185 in the US, but I'm not gonna put cheap stuff on my car. Um, as I said to you, I don't do that. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and replace the battery. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use ISTA and go into the car and I'm gonna register the battery and show you how to do that. So you're gonna already know this, but this is where the battery sits in this compartment right here. And what we're gonna do is we have to lift the carpet up and probably take the camera out while we do this. So now we've got the battery. Uh, now what we're gonna do is take this bracket off. Now this battery looks quite cheap to me and obviously I don't like cheap batteries on cars. So I've never, like I said, the last owner has done all this. And what we're gonna do is just take the battery cable off. This is the IBS, which you're not gonna play about with. Take this bar off and then get the battery out itself. Now, as you guys will probably know, this battery is held down by other certain bolts in there. So we've just got to get them all out. So as you'll see guys, I'm not gonna use my impact gun and just lift the bolts up. Because we're taking the battery out anyway. So we can get them after, not a big problem. Just need this bar to come off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna release the clamps. But you'll see, all right, here. And be careful when you take these out, as you'll know. The clamps that hold the battery down, there's only one. I think, yep, there's only one. So now what we'll do is we'll just switch to 10 mil, take the negative terminal off. Be careful, it will probably spark. If you put it back near, try and keep the negative away. Why remove the positive as well. As you see there, I'm gonna take off the positive when I can, as you'll see, and that's the battery fully released. So now, what we're gonna do, we're trying to find the handle to grab it out. And as you can see right there, this has been a cheap battery that someone's just used. So what we're gonna do is now put the new battery in, which is the Bosch one that I've got, and we'll replace everything up after. out the way all the electronics now as you'll see right here it might have been easier to remove the negative terminal to disconnect this IBS for a second I think so which we're gonna disconnect just getting in the way of all the terminals So as you'll see right there, that's the battery in. You want to take off the flaps as well that are in there, and you just want to reconnect all the all the live, but don't connect the ne neg negative terminal up because you want to leave that till last. And then what you want to do, you're going to get your lovely little bracket to hold the battery from moving, and try and locate the hole which is right there. And what this does, this sits on the battery. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt that up. Now we've got that in order. Which we're trying to get a grip on it straight away. The battery don't move, which it won't be. We've got that one bolted in, right there. So now what we're going to do is reconnect 
battery up. Like so. You know what we're going to do is we're going to bolt that battery terminal down. Like so. Just move it around a bit to the train up. And then that's your battery terminals down. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is bolt this back up. Battery. Keeps it out of harm's way. So, as you'll see, that's the battery now down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move to the front of the car and we're going to register the battery. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is we're now going to register this battery because I had an 85 five amp an hour battery in this car. So now what we're going to do is we're going to register it. So let's just do the identification and then we'll come back. So as you can see guys, we're now just going to go on to vehicle management and we're just going to go on to service functions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to body. What we're going to do is go to body. Then we're going to select voltage supply, battery. And we're going to go to register the battery battery replacement as you can see right there register battery exchange and it should pick up the battery we're using due to the IBS so now we just follow the on-screen instructions register battery exchange so the cast can know what battery it's got inside the car and the battery exchange higher higher capacity so we need to change it because 110 amps and then what we do is click no and then it will ask us. Now it's going to enter the battery registration. So now we've entered the, that. That's all done. The battery is now registered. We'll now do the time and date, which you see there now. It resets your time and date as well on the clocks. So I don't have to do it. Then we just click continue. So we'll just do this. We'll register, we'll now how to check it is we'll just do the same thing, register battery replacement again. Display battery exchange history. And as you see, it will tell you the current registered battery capacity is 80 amps an hour, which isn't the truth. So we need to change that and we're gonna have to go into code in to code that out. But it's showing that's the battery, which isn't the battery at all. So we're going to that and change the battery amps an hour so as you'll see here guys we've got the battery voltage on the cast and now what i'm doing is i'm changing that to 110 amps an hour and not 80 amps an hour because the thing is the car thinks now it's on 80 amps an hour so we're going to change that and i'm going to export that and then what we're going to do is we're going to code that in so we're going to change the job and then we're just going to do the sg code and we're going to write that to the car because obviously the battery i've got now is not 80 amps an hour so we don't want that to be an issue, which we've just done. So now that's coded in, everything should be fine now. And now it should show that we've got 110 amps an hour battery. As you'll see guys, I'm just rescanning now a Vista to see if the battery is now registered, which we'll know, because we'll check it in the batteries and see if it's registered at the battery. So we'll check the DME and the CAS if need be. We'll call up the ECU functions and check what battery is registered with it, which we can check. So as you'll see there guys, Right there, it says shows now 110 amps an hour. Jack, you saw that I coded it and changed it all over. We're showing 80 amp battery, an hour battery. So as you'll see, that's now the coding done on this car. That's how you code it if your car's got a different battery and you want to change the amps an hour battery so the IBS sensor and everything works together so you don't get no fault. This is what a lot of people do in the US and they end up messing up. I've noticed it a lot and a lot of the time people change their batteries on their cars but don't recode it in you cannot just change your battery for a different battery you have to know what battery your car's got if it's got different amps an hour you have to change it you can't go and buy a battery like i've just done my car had 80 amps an hour and then put 110 amps an hour you need to let the car know like i've just done so that's the way you get avoid making your car have a load of electrical glitches and electrical problems it's the only way so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys i've now shown you how to register your battery and also how to change your battery on your car Thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time for another video. Many thanks for watching and goodbye.